This section titled linear section 2.5 is titled linear inequalities in two variables. Uh, we'll look at how to graph linear inequalities on a coordinate plane. First example where I first example we're asked to graph y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 3. The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to plot points of the boundary line. Okay, What that means is just plot the points that would make up the line. So this negative 2x plus 3 starts at 3 on the y-axis slopes down to right one could also go up to and to the left one so that's the first step is just plot out those points the second step is to connect with either a dashed line or a solid line we use a dashed line if we have greater than or less than, a solid line for greater than or equal, less than or equal. This inequality has an equal to, so we're going to connect these with a solid line. Okay. The last thing that we're going to do is we're going to shade either above or below the line. Okay, so we're going to shade one side or other of this line. Now the inequality kind of tells me which side to shade. This is a less than inequality. So I want to shade the side of this line that is less than the line. Less than would imply beneath the line. So if we see the line here, I can clearly see I've got an above side and I've got a below side of this line. I want to shade everywhere below this line. Now what our solution region, so we just shaded, what our solution solution region represents is that any point when picked down here, any ordered pair point when picked down here and substituted in for x and y respectively up above would satisfy this inequality, would make it a true statement. Because the line is solid, that means that any point on this line would also make it a true statement, would also work. Next one we're graphing is y is less than one third x plus two. So first we're going to plot out the points, start at 2 on the y-axis, one-third slope means going up right, up 1 into the right 3, could also come down into the left 3, like that. Now this inequality does not have an equal to, so this is going to be a dashed line to connect them. And now we need to shade. We want less than. The less than side implies beneath the line. So we're going to shade everything down here. Okay. So any point down here, our solutions would satisfy that inequality. Because this line is dashed, uh, if you pick a point on this line, it's not going to work up here. Only the points that are beneath the line work in this case. Next example, y is greater than or equal to negative 2. Uh, remember that a y equals line is a horizontal line that crosses through the y-axis at this number. So this line is going to cross through negative 2.
I went ahead and made it a solid line because there is an equal to on this inequality. And then we want greater than. Greater than implies everything above the line. So we're going to shade everything up above the line y equals 2. That's it for that one. Last example, and this is about as hard as I can make this type of problem, uh, 2x minus 3y is less than 9. This is only slightly more challenging than the others is because we have to solve it for y first. Okay, so solving this for y, let's just rework it over here. 2x minus 3y is less than 9. The first thing that we're going to do is subtract 2x from both sides. So we have negative 3y is less than negative 2x plus 9. We're going to divide by negative 3. So we get y. Now here, because we have divided by a negative number, recall that that means inequality will flip directions. The two negatives here make positive 2 thirds x, and this is going to reduce to minus 3. Okay, with the line solved for y, we're now ready to graph. Start at negative 3 on the y-axis. Slope is 2 thirds, which means up 2 and to the right 3. And also come down 2 and to the left 3. This is going to be a dashed line because there is no equal to. We want y is greater than that line, which means we want everything above the line. Everything above the line would shade up here. There it is.